I can just land this last hit. Nice. What do we get? Good point, raid? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, the elite clue coming in. Okay, okay. I like that. I should be seeing elite clues pretty often from raid since I do it a lot. But that new update, you know? It's really nice. Looking forward to that. First elite clue in a while. Check it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. That, that was pretty blend. Well, look forward to some more elite clues, though. Then you're gonna get some more. Alright. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice, man. We got a drop. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey, money's money, bro. Take it. <laughs> C spare is just lethal. You know, you hit 40s at whip speed, so. Oh, yeah. One of my more uh, interested drops. 20 rune night wars. That's 200 rune darts. Yes, onyx bolts. Alright, second to last kill. Very nice. Whoa, what glitch is this shit? It's not supposed to sleep there. I'm not even gonna question it too much. So I want to talk a little bit about server stability. I normally don't talk about this, but the server has been unstable for like two months now. And yeah, it's a pretty big uh, problem for me, unfortunately. So in this clip, I'll just give you an example of what I mean by that. So I was doing raids, you know, for a solid like one, two hours in this particular world, it was fine, you know, no big lag, and then all of a sudden, you know, the lag just starts hitting you. And this is not, like, the first time that's happened these two months. It happens every day. It fucking sucks. You know, I'll be doing raids in one world, or bossing, you know, I'll be doing fine, and then the lag just comes out of nowhere and fucks you up. So, it really does suck, because as you can see in this particular one, I almost lost on this raid, just because the lag was so bad, you know, I ended up taking so much damage, but... I managed to clutch through, but yeah, I just really hope the servers, you know, go back to normal soon, because I don't know if I can keep doing this, you know, with this lag. Holy shit, I can't believe I actually survived that. Oh my god, that was ridiculously hard with that lag, but... Hey, okay, I got a leak clue though, so I guess it was worth it. Well, time to do another clue then. Yo, I still can't get over how fast the leak clues are now, with that update from a while ago. Alright, let's pop this one open. Definitely enjoying Elite Clues quite a bit again. Alright, let's see what we get. Ooh. You know, the one thing that doesn't really change is how underwhelming the Elite Clue rewards can be, though, for sure. So, I have been asked this question quite a bit. You see this Slayer Helmet here? People have noticed that I use it in a lot of places where I'm actually not doing Slayer. At Zora, you probably saw me use it at uh, the Inferno as well on the previous episode, so let me explain. This is the Slayer Helmet imbued, right? So the Slayer Helmet regular is not the same stats as Slayer Helmet imbued. I'm not talking about the percent stats that you gain while you're on task, I'm just talking about the Slayer Helmet imbued's regular stats. So the moment I put this on, I want you to check the attack bonuses right there. This is the key. Alright, this is what makes the Slayer Helmet imbued quite versatile. This is a great tribrid or hybrid uh, helmet in certain situations. So Zora, I'm maging and I'm ranging, and the Slayer Helmet offers both, okay? So it's a good option. You know, obviously you can use like a magic helmet or a range helmet, whatever. But this is like both together. And also, it doesn't have any negative stats at all. And its defense is solid as well. It's got actually plus 10 magic as well. Nor normally, a lot of you know helmets, they don't have everything that's positive defense. So overall, even if you're non-task, if the situation requires you, you know, to use two or more different styles, the Slayer Helmet imbued is actually a really great choice for you to consider. So guys, the last time I did like a bank-related video, was on April 15th of this year. So that was like over eight months ago and I have been noticing that a lot of people want to know just how much wealth my Iron Man has and you know what is in my bank and all that stuff. So I will spend a good amount of time you know for this episode just to talk about you know the bank uh, ever since that last bank check. So I'm gonna go tab by tab. So let's start off with the first tab at the top. We got the money, got the skill capes. So these are all the ones that I use very often. The other ones not shown here is in my house. 
And right here in this section is just like teleports that I use pretty often for clues or something and just for you know general traveling. So down here is all of my commonly used jewelry. So we got all the Zenite items here as well. And of course, this is a pretty rare uh, item, the Slavery Eternal. Took no time because I wasn't even camping for it. I just got it, you know. But over here is my selection of fancy Jordan shoes. Uh, all three of the best PVM shoes. But these two items, right, my most prized items for sure. Inferno Cape, Arcane Spirit Shield. So I tend to try to rock those whenever I can. And over here is my full ancestral set except for the bottoms because yeah RNG sucks I don't have any never seen one and of course spent many months grinding for the imbue heart and we got that so over here is my god sword set there is no bandos because I put them in the hidey hole so I do have all of them and over here is all of the uh, weapons that I use very often so we got you know hosta spear warhammer dragon claws you know the bludgeon elder maul trout the swamp Cold eye, blowpipe, you know, all the good stuff. You guys know what these armor are. And some uh, other special shields. So we got Dragonfire Shield, you know, one of my long camped items that I got a while ago after a long, long grind. Then it's Bulwark, you know. As you keep going, you'll see all the other uh, combat rings. And over here is some other armor that I do use sometimes. Void is used pretty heavy actually for raids, but. Yeah, down here is just more miscellaneous stuff, so we got some more Slayer Superior Monster Drops. And we keep going down, we see some skilling outfits. So down here is my miscellaneous PVM loot tab. So all the other loot from bosses, I try to place them here, just for a collection. I don't use these though, but yeah, it looks really nice. So we got lots of uh, miscellaneous God of War stuff, a lot of miscellaneous Slayer boss items. As you can see, uh, all the barrels items that I, I do have from the 1000 plus barrels chest, you know, it's all there. This tab hasn't really changed too much, you know, except for some dragon items, of course, from raids. <laughs> oh my god. Now down here is all the extra DK's rings, and over here is just all the miscellaneous ALK uh, items that, unfortunately, I pretty much decimated, you know, for my construction grind, so they're pretty much emptied out over here in this section. And miscellaneous uh, ammunition. And this is the third tab, you know, this is all my, you know, magic and extra teleport and tools tab. So not much to really talk about except I guess the Master Scroll book's pretty new update, so we have that. I put all of my uh, Clue Scroll teleport rewards in that, it's really nice. And uh, you keep going down and you see like, you know, my impling, so I'm, the lucky impling is a collection thing I'm going for right now. But as you go down here, I guess some people are pretty interested in, in my herb section. So yeah, I've just gotten so many herbs, mainly from PVM uh, recently. So most of these are just from raids. You keep going down, it's also my seed section in the same spot. So you keep going down, got some of the newer seeds from the uh, Fossil Island, you know, the uh, Teak Mahogany. Over here though, on this tab, is like the main skilling resource tab here. Lots of... And yeah, a lot of crafting, a lot of smithing, a lot of prayer, some prayer, a little bit of prayer. And a lot of the planks and logs from PVM mainly. And you keep going down here, some fletching stuff, you know, some cooking stuff as well. But yeah, the bowstring is from my 93 crafting grind. I turn all the flax, well, all the flax that I had at the time. I have more now, but yeah. Over here is like extra equipment that I use as fodder. So if I'm going to the wilderness, you know, I just kind of uh, wear some of these. Over here is the revamped as hell uh, clue items tab. I used to have a lot more emote stuff in here for clues, but you know, I put them in the hidey holes, so. And over here is like the clue uh, scroll tab. Most of them is uh, hard clue items that I couldn't fit in my house. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. And you keep going down, and over here is like the elite slash master section right here. And this tab is like, I guess, secondary skilling tab and a bit of everything uh, where it's smaller to you know do my skill and stuff and the final tab is the pets tab yeah seven pets apparently but yeah I got all of these a long time ago uh, actually Skotizo, Zora and Bloodhound are the most recent ones everything else here is like from a year plus ago probably 
So the thing that people want to know the most is obviously what is like monetary wealth on this character. So I will be able to show you that pretty easily by just checking the bank value on the conduit client. So let's go ahead and do that. If we calculate it, it should say, yeah, 2.7 billion. So the most valuable item I have right now is apparently code I won at 119, 18 mil. My biggest stack is the dragon claws at 400 mil. And down here is all the tabs prices separate. So obviously my main tab with all the best items are the most expensive 1.7 bill. And tab two is, uh, I think the extra, yeah, PVM loot tab at 400, 32 mil on this tab. 153 mil on the herbs potion tab tab four oh yeah skilling tab at 170 mil and then everything down here is a little small in, in the price let me see what's in here i think this is tab seven right at 33 mil and then tab eight is 142 mil yeah a lot of these resources add up to quite a lot and of course tab nine apparently is eight mil because of the anglerfish all these you know don't have actual monetary value so in terms of actual value on my bank right now is at 2.7 bill and it's actually supposed to be a lot more but i drop traded uh, quite a quite a bit of dexterous scrolls and arcane scrolls so let me just check the price of them currently so it's at 68 mil i've dropped basically 10 dex scrolls already all in all i've drop traded 680 mil worth of dex scrolls and 70 mil worth of arcane scrolls so that's about 750 mil so if i didn't drop those things you add the extra 750 mil i would have been at uh 3.4 bill basically so probably just get to three bill bank regardless soon enough grinding for the twisted bow i am going to be wrapping up today's video here guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video it's quite different from the usual episodes for sure but i'll be honest with you there just wasn't that many things going on uh this past five days i've tried to pvm a lot and unfortunately no drops and a lot of the pvmrs i unfortunately lost because yeah the laggy servers just fuck me up it sucks but yeah hopefully you know it'll get better soon gargoyle boss i hope that comes out next week because i've seen some development uh tweets from the people that were you know working on the gargoyle boss so hopefully we'll see that soon Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as usual and I hope to see you guys soon with a video in less than a week hopefully. Other than that, take care and bye bye.